going on guys, Red here or Pixel Deco and today we are back with another video and this video is going to be why you console gamers should be switching to PC gaming right now. Now of course it doesn't have to be right this moment but this is just recommendations on why you should switch to PC gaming. Now all you console gamers don't get all mad at me because I'm going to make another video addressing why PC gamers should switch to console gamers. Now that that's out of the way, let's get this video started. Now the first reason is the flexibility with your hardware. Now there's so much stuff you can customize with your PC, it's it's just unimaginable I mean. I mean you can literally Literally turn your school PC that you use for school into a gaming laptop that's better than everyone else's in your town or city. To where Xbox cannot do that. What I'm trying to get to is that you can have so much freedom of this on your PC over your console to where all you can do with your console is either put LED strips on the outside of the back of your console or put dbrand skins or something like that on your console you can't really upgrade it i mean say look at the xbox 360 that thing's been out since 2005 and like people have still been playing that thing since 2013 to now in 2016 but since 2013 those games from 2005 to 2013 have slowly developed to where they need more power to run as smoothly as you would like them to, or as good as you would like them to. As to where in some of those cases, consoles cannot do that, but as PCs can. So what I'm trying to get to is that there's more freedom with a PC than there is a console. Now that I got that out of the way, let's move on to the next reason. Now my second reason is graphics. Now this topic is mainly for all those high-end gamers that want to get the best quality and frame rate out of all their games. Now I can't really address this too much in detail because of the consoles that are coming out like the Xbox One S and the new PlayStation that's coming out. I don't even know what the new PlayStation is because I personally don't use PlayStation. But I can address this simple little section in the graphics topic that we're talking about right now which is 4k now 4k is something that pcs have been able to achieve way earlier than consoles now the topic of 4k would have to bring me back into hardware and stuff like that so i don't really want to talk about that any more than i already have just saying that pc has achieved it more faster than consoles have but with graphics you can get a lot higher resolutions with a pc than you do with a console and you can customize those graphics and the quality of your games other than having to stick with the same frame rate and the same rates than you do with a console such as a game like borderlands or something like that to where you're stuck at a solid 45 frames to 60 frames a second and you're stuck at that frame rate or lower and you can't really customize that at, and you're at the same quality settings throughout the entire time you're playing this game throughout how long you want to play it. I mean, there's no way of getting out of this. And to where PC you can customize this stuff and it allows you to. I mean, you could play at 60 frames a second, you could play at 20 frames a second, you can even play at 45 frames a second, 30 frames a second, whatever frame rate you want to play it at, at any settings. There's just so much accessibility you can use and change in this graphical settings. So that was basically the point that I was trying to get to you guys about for the graphics. It's just there's more accessibility and it's not as, you know, locked as on a console. But now that we got that all the way, let's get on to the third reason. Now for the third reason is game ability and backwards compatibility. Now I know consoles have been getting backwards compatibility lately, but it isn't all the games that you want to play. Like if you are into old school games, you can't play old school games, obviously. But I know it's illegal, but uh, on PCs you can get emulators, such as PlayStation emulators, uh, Super Nintendo emulators. There's all these things that'll let you play all the old school games, and all the fun games, and all the PlayStation 1 games, PS2 games, Xbox original games. But on consoles, you're only stuck to those limited games that are out during the amount of time that those consoles are out. I mean, like, Xbox 360 is limited to the Xbox 360 games, and PS4 is limited to the PS4 games. 
as to where those exclusives can combine and go onto PC and you can play all those games on PC. And just that limit of availability is awesome if you want to play those old school games. But that's gonna bring me on to my final topic, which is the prices of games. There's so many websites that you can get games for cheaper than they already are, such as Kingwin and GDA, where you can get just games cheaper than they would be on Steam or on Xbox yeah. consoles, you know? Because if you look up an Xbox game on that, it wouldn't really show up. It'd only show up like one or two, and they probably wouldn't be the right ones for you. So you just get a lot better deals on video games than you do on consoles. I mean, the Steam Summer Sale right now is going on right now. Which sadly, my money is going towards my new PC that I'm saving up for. So I can't really get any new games on this Summer Sale. But I'm hoping to get some next Summer Sale. So what I'm trying to get to you with this last topic is to never spend your full price on games. Always go to those gdoa.com and Kingwin and just wait for a sale sometimes. It's just there's no reason to really spend that much on a game if you know that you can get them for cheap. So so that's going to be basically the video guys. If you guys did enjoy it, just smash that like button down below and comment down below you guys and see next. Anyways, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next video. Stay cozy, guys. I'm out. Peace.